Hey, good morning, Jared and Eric. This is a quick demo video for you and ultimately for the person that you give this away to uh, for the uh, Custom Saber Shop F16 lightsaber. Um, this is install the Profi that Eric sent over to me. It's a two button setup. So of course your two switches are right here, right? This, the front switch or the one that's closest to the emitter will be the power and the other one will be the auxiliary switch. All right. Um, you've got a Carl Chen V4 lit NeoPixel connector in there. So we'll light that up here in a second, but that does have LEDs, lots of LEDs on it. So you get some animation, even if you don't have a blade in, uh, the only place on this saber that opens is the pummel. So what you want to do is just come over here and open it. When this saber came to me, um, this red ring was kind of loose. So I went ahead and I glued that down so you don't have to worry about that falling off anymore. So we've got that. When you take it off, you'll see your chassis. You can just pull it right out. All right. And this is what you've got. This is a, it's a pretty decent sized saber, but there's not a whole lot of room on the inside. This is a 0.99 inch diameter chassis. Um, so not a whole lot of room, but we made it work. All right. You've got a removable battery set up here. So please, as I was telling you guys earlier, and I tell everyone spring side for the negative side of your battery, please do not put the battery in this backwards or drop this from, you know, a long distance outside of the saber. This is a pretty durable material. This is PLA plus. Um, it is a strong material, but don't go flinging this guy around. This is an exposed chassis with the electronics. It is safest when it's inside of the saber, right? So just take a little bit of care when it's outside. Um, your profi board is right here. So this is a profi from Dark Wolf Sabers. Um, and those usually come with some fonts, but the SD card that was in the profi board was bent, uh, broken and unreadable. So I, don't, I had no idea what fonts were on those. I put a few fonts on. Um, I'm gonna send uh, $20 over to Jesse Kirkbride because I put two of his fonts on here from Kyberphonic. And then um, I put my own sound font which is the apologize font on here as well. Uh, a copy of the config file is on the SD card, but you will need to uh, pop this board up diagonally to make any changes. All right, there was absolutely uh, no room in here to make everything accessible and not move the board. So this is one of those few times where I made this a press fit. You just pop it up diagonally, make your changes and then snap it back down. If you do that over and over again over time and you feel like the board is not holding as tight as it used to, a little bit of E6000 on either side of the board and put it down in place. It will hold it very tightly and you'll still be able to pop it up in the future if you need to. All right. Um, this has a fully enclosed 22 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite, or this is a Nano Elite speaker. This would have fit a 24 millimeter, but it wouldn't have been uh, fully enclosed. And I'm a big fan of these speakers over the 24 millimeters when you can enclose them like this. So the sound is really good. All right. And then lastly, um, well, we have this Smuggler's Outpost switch pixel PCB set here. So this is the female PCB. And this makes contact with a 14 pin PCB in there. Let me shine a light in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there. So there's a 14 pin PCB in there that never comes out. Um, it is in its own chassis piece. So there's a chassis piece in here about this long. It goes from here to here. It holds that 14 pin PCB, all the wiring for your switches, and of course, lastly, your, your NeoPixel holder. That's all one. Uh, that is held in place by these two switches. All right, there's two holes in the actual chassis that line up with these two switches. And when these switches are pressed into this chassis piece, everything is locked in. So that, that's how that's done. Um, there was an open piece on this saber right here. I didn't see anything in your box to go there. I made sure to print this particular chassis piece on the inside in black so it wasn't uh, such an eyesore right there i'm not sure what goes there all right um, but of course this one is gray not a whole lot of room for designing so i just kind of made you know kind of an ode to the saber the actual saber design you've got two different sets of uh three ribs on the saber so i kind of put that on the chassis as well all right uh lastly let's go ahead and throw a battery oh yeah before we do that this came with your saber this was on the inside of the saber. Uh, when you open it up, it's got all of your Allen keys and stuff in there. 
I didn't take them out because I don't use them, right? But it's all of the Allen keys that come with your kit. So I'll make sure that this goes back in your box, but just please be aware now that the Sabre's installed, this isn't gonna fit inside. All right, so we'll come over here. Um, I'm gonna send you a battery. I'm gonna take the sticker off of it, but it is a Keep Power 18650. If you ever want to buy another battery, this is the one that you do. You can get the 3000 milliamp battery as well. 3120 just gives you a little bit more runtime. So, uh, um, you know, but either one will do. All right, so we'll go ahead. We will throw a battery in this guy. You got your boot up sound, which is good. So you can put this chassis in any way you like, as long as this side goes in first. So just throw it right in. All right. It'll stop about right there. That's when we come and we put the pummel on. When you tighten the pummel down, it pushes the chassis up against those pins. Everything makes contact and we can hit power. We got a nice smooth swing here. Auxiliary down here. And you can see all your LEDs on your PCB are lighting up. And then you got twist off. All right. And then this is set up for a full length one inch diameter blade. Um, I'm just using my test blade because it's a little bit easier for me to swing around in my space. But it is set up for a full length blade. Your blade retention screw is that singular grub screw right on the larger shroud. This one is my font. Blaster bolt deflex is just tapping the auxiliary. If you want blade lock up, what you want to do is hold down the auxiliary and hit the saber. You can kind of see it right here. And then as you go horizontal with it, the blade lock up moves towards the middle of the blade, all right? And then twist off. If you want to play the soundtrack to each font, because every all three of them have one, it's a long press on the power. All right, another long press to turn it off. Just like that. And then go to another font, hit auxiliary. This is Kyberphonics piece of junk. a pretty fun one to have and I felt like the sounds went with the theme of the saber and a blade lock up four sounds is a long press on the power when the saber's on Do the soundtrack of this one too. All right, turn that off. And then you got an Obi sound font just to bring it back to the classics. Obi Wan Kenobi. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. And the soundtrack on this one, right? I'll turn that off. And we'll break this back down. All right, so when you're done, take the blade out. Come over here, unscrew our pummel. Take out our chassis, and then when you want to take the battery out, do it from the positive side, which is over here by your board. You should be able to pop it out with your finger just like that. All right, and that is basically uh, your F16 Custom Saber Shop Saber. Let me know if you have any questions. 
And uh, being that it's Friday afternoon, this will probably go out in the mail to you first thing Monday morning. All right. Thank you.